Hey, what's going on, everybody? Boylan here, live from Oslo, Norway. Yes, we are doing a video here. Now, this is a little bit late, by about an hour or so, I think, uh, because I've been drinking. Because I've been uh, drinking some wine over here at my friend's place, and uh, that's a bit more important than Marvel Strike Force. But we are here to talk about the blog, because we're doing what's, what's I guess, going to be dubbed as a half-drunken Blogs with Boyle on Friday uh, you know, it's weird because normally I'd be recording this at like 2 p.m. Pacific time and now we're it's like after 11 for me. So this is really late, but we're going to do it anyways because I think there's some things that we need to talk about and uh, some stuff going on here in Marvel Strike Force. So if you're ready to go, everyone, well, no, I can't do my, my I can't do that anyways. Normally I would do my intro, but uh, I don't have my second monitor set up yet. So we're just going to jump straight into the blog. So we're going to talk about here. Um, this, which is the Craven the Hunter, uh, blog post, I guess, here, and we're gonna go over this, and, uh, actually, before we get into that, I wanna talk about this, which is the Issue Resolved, uh, mail that we got in the inbox, and I have no idea what this is for, and I don't know what this is comp compensating for, we have, I mean, it looks like Cosmic Crucible stuff, but I have no idea what this is actually. We got some Quicksilver shards. We got some uh, some resources in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. But uh, yeah, I don't really know what that was intended for. Anyways, it's free stuff, right? You know, we all like free stuff. I hope you're all doing well in Sword Satellite. Now, I was intended on doing putting out a video uh, for this. I actually did day one of Sword Satellite. You know, before it was effed up. Uh, but my my internet at the travel lodge in the UK was shit and I could not upload my video and so it was just so slow I could not get a video uploaded so that didn't happen I, I basically got through floors 1 through 21 and we ended up doing some stuff there and so I, I did this twice honestly because you guys know that this restarted and we're doing it again and we got 10 more days and well I guess nine more days and this is going to reset pretty soon for me uh, though being in Europe of course things are a bit weird as far as the time uh, time zones go and things like that so it is what it is but anyways let's talk about the blog let's talk let's talk about uh, the November month-long event that's going to be beginning we are going to be talking about uh, Craven the Hunter now we spoke about him previously because you know he's a new character coming to the game I talked about my thoughts about him and the other Sinister Six in Dark Dimension and uh, we're just gonna take a look at what the blog has in store for us today there's a lot of stuff in here and hopefully it will be uh, down below as well the assemble the Marvels event this one's interesting because this one's actually uh, in on msf.gg you can actually see it right now it's it's okay it's like free stuff basically it's not that hard to do and you get some uh, free red stars for characters like Miss uh, Captain Marvel uh, Miss Marvel Hardlight and uh, Photon as well so and we have Cosmic Crucible season 5 which is gonna be starting in a couple of days then so that's gonna be quite interesting as well some of you might have already seen the Envoy videos related to that though so that's a thing as well Tigra being added to the bumps uh, Quicksilver being added to the Cosmic Crucible store and uh, of course we have some events some main events coming up so let's talk about Craven the Hunter it looks like we're gonna be getting the the offer for Craven coming next week which is gonna be on November the 8th at 1 p.m. so that's gonna be in uh, f now that's because of daylight savings I think there's some things going on right now with daylight savings time and uh, in Europe we've already changed here for daylight savings but I believe that this changes at a different time uh, uh, probably this coming Sunday maybe I think with regards maybe it's next Sunday I don't remember because uh, right now I'm in Europe and we've already changed our times but I know it does change in North America at a bit of a different time as you guys know I'm, I've been on holiday for a little while and so we have Craven the Hunter's offer that's fine we have the last hunt go on an expedition to ensnare critical resources for Craven the superior six and the characters required so I, I think that there's gonna be a yeah there's gonna be a showcase event for Craven the Hunter but is it gonna be the same as basically so when we had the Bifrost characters they had a showcase event per character but the way that it was for the Pegasus team was that it was just like one giant long campaign event 
that covered all of the characters. So whether or not we get that again, you know, we'll, we'll kind of we'll see. We'll wait and see. And uh, we have the Friday Free Claim here as well. That's apparently going to include more. So they've been kind of doing a little bit better when it comes to Juggernaut Zombie. Now, I'm currently sitting at 32 out of 55. They already sent out the compensation for this. I've already opened all of this. And so that's where I'm at for this. So do keep that in mind. Uh, we're also getting some Crimson Tombstones as part of this for today. And uh, some other stuff, which is nice as well. I'll add that into... Honestly, we're probably at this point, we're at about 100,000 over the month long in terms of the currency. Reverse engineering. This is going to be the Ironheart... Uh, November month-long event, which is starting on November the 6th, so keep in mind for that as well. There's going to be five main events, I believe, unless it shows down below, the the photo for this has already been out on their Twitter or X page for this as well. It's going to be our, we, we knew this was happening, we knew this was going to happen, and we have the, the, the main events here at the various dates. Uh, you can see that down below, and I, I believe Patent Pending is actually the Craven the Hunter main event. And so we'll find out more about that when it comes around. And the Alliance events, Quick Rumbles, all this is pretty normal for us. And uh, you can see, let's let's open up the month-long calendar, though. I want to see, they've gone to changing to Ironheart shards now. So we have 15, 25, uh, let's zoom in a little bit more, actually. We have, let's scroll over. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, 1, 25. 125 Ironheart shards and I guess a special frame for beating this. So that's, I think, less than what they were offering us for Tigra, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, but if they do keep up with the whole thing about, you know, having a character farmable within four months, then that shouldn't be too much of a deal. Uh, but we'll find out, of course, as usual. So the first week here, we have the Craven event. That's what it looks like anyways. Uh, take the first step towards helping Riri, blah, 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 blah. Here's the event. So it doesn't have... No, it's not Craven shards. No, we have Photon shards. Uh, we do have Dark Promo credits. We have shards from Miss Marvel Hardlight. Why is Craven on the front of this? I'm not sure... Exactly. This is not a, exactly a Craven event. You'll receive more points if Craven is higher footing. Um, oh yes, yeah, so you get additional points for using Craven in Cosmic Crucible. Yet, of course, you're not. This is not a Craven unlock event. Eureka moment, web milestone, add an electrical surge uh, by battling in raids. Okay, let's open up this one. It's pretty easy. Looks like you have to do 10 raid battles a day, and you get some milestone points towards the event. So this event is going to be starting on... When is this starting? This is going to be starting on November the 6th. So this is going to be starting on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So the, this event video will be coming out on Sunday morning, so do keep an eye out for that, and we'll have another vi uh, video going out for that on Sunday morning. I'll be sure to do that after this sometime. I'll probably record that tomorrow, and we'll get this out for you guys for uh, Sunday morning ahead of this event. So it just doesn't look super complicated. You know, it's just some raid battles. Uh, we got some Cosmic Crucible battles and campaign energy spending. It doesn't seem too bad, so that's fine. Uh, Lab Alliance is the ISO 8 energy spending. I'm not going to look at the event chart for this time, but I'm assuming it's not going to be too much different. If it is significantly different than what we're used to, then I will uh, kind of point this out when I do the video for Sunday morning for the other event. So do keep an eye on that. Uh, back to formula. This is going to be quick rum. No, this is this is another event. Okay, so this is going to be let's does that have a chart? This is prepping for the Green Goblin trial event. November the 10th. So that's gonna be seven days from now, which means it's gonna be next Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So depending on uh, you know what time zone you're in, of course. And uh, the event charts are not up, it would seem, but it will be up soon, hopefully. So keep an eye out on that, I guess, uh, which is going to be the precursor to the Green Goblin trial event. I guess probably going to be rewarding uh, some new Avengers character shards, my guess. Uh, the Ruthless Ambition web milestone again. So all this stuff related to this event will be available soon. It's not available yet. We do have Cosmic Crucible Season 5 coming, 
And uh, what do we have for that? Well, uh, so I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go over this too much because this was basically available on the kind of the um, the Envoy videos, which I was not, you know, I'm not a part of. Uh, but you've probably seen some of these things yourself. They're not as significant as the previous Cosmic Crucible Season 4. So that's kind of one of the bigger things here. But, uh, you know, you are going to get some huge bonuses by using Superior 6 characters and Sinister 6 characters on defense and offense. So all Sinister 6 characters get 200% focus and 15% max barrier. Uh, Superior 6 characters, though, get additional bonuses, including on successful attack. They get barrier self for 15% of max health and remove revive once on characters that they attack and then on spawn they gain defense up. So uh, this is a basically a big season on a Sinister 6 and Superior 6 that will be kind of going forward. Now this does not have the raid season anymore. A lot of these room bonuses are very, what I would say pretty basic. So striker characters in, in, in room 1, uh, tech and skill characters for room 2, uh, room three, it has to do with ultimate abilities and things like that. I, I, I may put out a video if there's time to talk about this more, uh, when there's more time for this, uh, stage six villain character. So it's, it's very, what I would say is it's kind of basic. Like there's not any huge, huge changes like there was on the pre this season right now or this previous season, uh, where they had raid characters and that was a pretty big thing. And so that's not going to be as big of a thing going forward. So no more Bifrost. For those of you who are used to that kind of thing, uh, who maybe got, was able to take advantage of that kind of thing, and let me tell you, I was. So my current, now I didn't do a lot of Crucible because of like my, um, me being on holidays and such, but like I got a lot of use out of both my Bifrost and my Project Pegasus team on Room 2 defense. Honestly, it won me a lot of my matches, so there is that. And I guess I'm kind of happy for that. Assemble the Marvels. So this is the upcoming event for the movie that's going to be coming out uh, pretty soon here. And it's going to consist of trait restrictions. Mission number one, no restrictions. Mission number two, uh, you need Miss Marvel or Miss Marvel Hardlight. And then you need Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel or Miss Marvel Hardlight. So that's going forward as well. And that's going to be on November the 9th. So that's not going to be on Friday. I believe it's next Thursday. So there's a handful of events that are coming soon in this game. Keep an eye out for that. Like I said, everything in this is subject to change, of course. And I'll be keeping an eye out on this one, which is going to be the second main event. But we're going to be make sure to cover this one, the Eureka, uh, sorry, not the, the patent pending main milestone event which will be coming soon uh, on Monday and I'll be making sure to put out that event video for Sunday for you guys uh, before I start having a ton of fun here in Norway uh, because you know what we're, we're, we're making the best out of this second half of uh, the Europe trip and wanting to do the best that we can here and uh, yeah so my apologies if I'm not you know able to get all the stuff that I would normally get out for uh, you know my videos but at the very least I'll be sure to make sure to get my event videos out for you guys and again, patent pending will be coming on a Sunday morning. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know if I'm going to get a video out for tomorrow. Uh, I have been on the drinks a little bit. I have a little bit of alcohol in my system right now. So if I sound kind of weird, uh, that's definitely why. Uh, but hopefully you got this this version of uh, Blogs with Boil on Friday with my, you know, I'm trying to be professional, but I've also had a little bit of alcohol, so bear with me, guys. And, of course, on Sunday, we'll get all the rest of the details for you all. So let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about this blog. Let me know what you think about this upcoming month long of November, and especially with these upcoming events as well. Are you excited for Sinister 6 and Superior 6? Because i got to say that I am. Now, I kind of went over this in a previous video, but, man, I've been leveling up my Vulture. I'm going to be making sure that my Vulture gets to level 95. And then after that, we're going to be talking about Doc Ock and other characters coming soon. And I'm really glad that I think that Craven is going to be the first character uh, of the, uh, the Superior Six that are going to be coming first. And so I'm happy about that because I want to take them to Dark Dimension Six that I talked about in my previous video. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And that's going to be the end of this video. And of course, until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan, signing out.